Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. Foxtech has been providing you with tutorials literally for years and this is one of them. The topic for today is, however, how you can use color widgets on iPad. Now again, it depends on what you mean by that. You may mean, for example, adding more colors to your widgets in general. In that case, you don't really have that much option to customize, for example, the color of the battery widget or anything like that, but you still have the option to hold down on the screen. You can tap on the plus icon to add new widgets and you can just scroll through them as much as you want. And let's, for example, add something which is much more colorful. So yeah, you, you can add whatever you want when it comes to that and choose the more colorful widgets, I guess, if you want to. So that's, that's one option as well. Or download a third party app, which allows you to customize widgets. And we're getting over to the second part of the video, which technically talks about color widgets as the name of the app. Because if you open up the app store, and in this case, I'm going to be able to look up the app called Color Widgets. So I have just installed the Color Widgets app. It's a very nice application because it allows you to make your iPad much more aesthetic and create a custom uh, widget so you can see customize your home screen in many different colors. So that's very, very useful. And that's why uh, that's what you probably mean by how you can use color widgets. So once the app loads up, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it. So you can see I can tap on open. It's going to get me inside of this app. So hit continue. You can see you can skip through it in case you understand how it works. You have to add them. So continue. You don't have to pay for the subscription if you don't want to just yet. Perhaps then you're going to be able to subscribe. OK, so right now we can see color widgets inside of the app. You can see how you can customize the widgets and see how you can use them. So that's very useful. However, if you come back to the home screen, hold down on the, the screen anywhere to make sure that in here you find the color widgets. And here are so many different things which you can pick from. So so, for example, you have this one right here, which only shows you the time and the thing right here. So you can add it to the home screen in no problem. When you tap on it, however, you can choose which widgets it's going to show. So you can see it is the widget one. So inside of the app, you can customize the widgets as much as you. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Want? And then you're going to be able to do it and add it to the home screen. So I can see this is the widget one, which is available in four sizes and I can add it to the home screen, but I can click on widget two. I'm going to click on that and customize it as much as I like. So for example, I can change the font, change the background color, make it look like this. So I have the, let's say I have the, this color combination of red and yellow, which looks kind of interesting. So that's going to be about that. You can see that uh, I did not save it, unfortunately. So like that, make sure that you click on a set widget and I'm going to click on replace widget too. That's how it works. Now, when I come back to the home screen and hold down on this widget like this, you can see I'm going to edit widget. It's going to flip like this, tap on widget, tap, tap it on widget two. When I come back, it's going to show me the red and yellow one. And that's how you can basically customize it. That's how you can decide what you like, change the color combinations and customize your widgets and add them to the home screen as much as you want. So that's really another way how you can customize it, make it more colorful. And that's basically the guide on how you can use color widgets on the iPad. Of course, I'm not going to go through every single thing you understand that you, for example, click here and choose a very specific color, or you probably know that you can go for the pro widgets in case you purchase the pro uh, subscription. You can see here are some free ones, some, yeah, of course it depends. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. This is the, the paid one in case you want to use that. You need to subscribe. You understand that point, but I just wanted to show you how you can add it to the home screen, switch it in between and add it inside of the app and customize it. So that's basically everything what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later. Peace out until then.